Hey guys, it's Gonzalo Delmar again, and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining today. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to ask you if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, to please do so by just clicking on the button below and hitting subscribe because it's really going to help me in bringing you a lot more content. Today I'm pretty excited because I'm going to continue the videos on AR Foundation. I actually found a really cool tool that is going to allow us to debug our applications, specifically applications that are built in AR Foundation because there's really not a tool right now to debug remotely. So let's jump into Unity and I start looking at it. All right, guys, so I show you the inspector uh, running in runtime at the beginning of the video. And right now I want to show you how you could set it up in Unity. The reason why I need to use this is because it's really hard for me to debug augmented reality applications because there's really not a, a remote at the moment. So I want to show you how we can import it into the project, how we can configure it, and then I can show you at the very end how it runs on the device as well as the you know like i showed you at the beginning of the video so let me go ahead and jump into the asset store and this is the assets called the runtime inspector and hierarchy and i want to first of all credit the author for you know making such a great tool because it's really really cool and you're going to see why so i'm going to click on opening unity and this is going to open the package manager and just keep in mind that i'm using 2019 that 3.0 beta 7 I'm going to click on import because I already downloaded it and it's going to import all these folders and scripts and files to the plugins directory. So I'm going to click on import and it should be almost done here in just a few seconds. And there we go. So now what I want to show you is how you can set it up. So for more likely you're going to have a canvas. If you don't have a canvas, make sure that you add a canvas because that is going to be required. And the next thing that you need to do is you need to go into the plugin, plugins folder, and then go into the runtime inspector. And I'm going to be adding two different prefabs. One is going to be the runtime hierarchy, which we're going to be putting at the very bottom. And then the other one is going to be the runtime inspector. So one of them is going to be the hierarchy, like this one that we have in Unity. And the other one is going to be like the inspector that we have in Unity, but it's going to execute a runtime. So as you can notice right now, the UI is very small. And I know that because I, I had that issue a few minutes ago. And that's because of the scaling that I have right now. But we're going to be changing this. So I'm going to go into my inspector. And I'm going to be placing the hierarchy at the very on the very top. So we're going to do, I'm just going to resize it. And I'm going to do the scale. I'm going to set it to 2, 2, 2. And I'm going to do the same thing with the inspector. Let's go ahead and do 2, 2, 2. And it depends on the UI and also the platform that you're targeting, but this works for me just fine. So I'm just going to just going to align it here. Let me go ahead and, and go ahead and focus in the scene. And we're going to be just aligning everything here. And I'm just going to put the hierarchy at the very top, right about here. I think it's fine. And then the inspector I'm going to be placing on the very bottom. The reason why I don't want to cover some of these buttons is because I want to be able to interact with the app and also see some of the different components that I'm interacting, how they get created. So I'm going to actually use probably about that much on the on the inspector. And there we go. And then let's go ahead and go into the hierarchy. I think I can give, a, give us a little bit more real estate right about there. And this one I'm just going to snap to the top. And the inspector I'm going to basically a snap to the bottom so i think that should be okay and there we go let me just resize this a little bit and i think i think we're good now all right so i think we're good so the next thing that you need to do is the hierarchy needs to know about the inspector so you'll need to connect them together and how you do that there's this object here that is called it's exposed to the inspector and it's called connected inspector and I'm just going to drag it and drop it and tell it that that's going to be the inspector. And that's honestly everything that we need to do to get it set up. I want to show you how it works because it's actually really cool. And then I'm just going to hit play. And we're going to be looking at a couple of things. I haven't really used the search functionality. For the most part, I just use what I have on the hierarchy. But for instance, if I want to go into the session origin, right now I don't have any trackable. So let's say that I start drawing in my app. And I'm going to go ahead and, and, and draw. So now you can see that I have a render zero and also a render one. So if I get, go ahead and click on this, I know that it's going to create a pivot point. So I can go ahead and look at anything that is inside. I can also look at the 
all, all the properties that are associated with that object. So in this case, this is a collider. So you can see that the collider is active. You can also see that the name of it, what it is, the tag, the layer, the different transform components that are associated with this object. The other cool thing that I can do with this is I can also go ahead and select this. Let's say that I want it to, you know, I don't want to show it. For instance, I could hide it or I could also move it around if I wanted to. So if I wanted to change the, the position of it, I could say, okay, I want to change that to be, you know, 10 or, or a different number. I could override any of these numbers and they're, they're going to happen in real time. So let's say that I do, let's do point, let's do point two in here, 0 0.2. And it's hard to see, but that's basically, you know, overriding the, the change on that. So if we look at line render zero underscore smooth pivot, and we look at it from this, from the actual hierarchy in Unity, we can see that that value, it's gonna get changed. So if I go here, you can see that the number two is changed. So if I go back here and I change this to a one, you can see how it's happening in real time. So the this asset is awesome. I think I, I really love it. So the other thing that I can also do that is really helpful here, let's say that I wanted to look for line render. And you can see that you can search just like you can search here. You can also search in the runtime inspector. I can also select, you know, the different objects. The cool thing with the path is showing me where that is located, you know, relative to the search object that it found. And I can also see the properties of that object. If I wanted to go ahead and search for so we're going to search for runtime hierarchy so I can click on it and I can look at all the different properties that are associated with this, basically with this component. can also do that and if I wanted to, let's go ahead and go back and go into our line. So if I wanted to go to a line and then just disable a line, I can disable a line. If I want to go to that one, I can disable that one. You can see that the one on the back disappear. I can disable that and then I think that one is going to make everything go away. Maybe not. I think I still have yeah, I still have a line one is smooth somewhere in here. Yep, I think I can hide that one and you can see how I can toggle. can also change the name if I wanted to from here, the tag and then you know, the, tra the transforms. can also look at different components. So for instance, if I look at this component right here, which is my line render, and I go into the component that is inside, you can see that it has an AR line object. I can also look in here and expand that component and look at the line, you know, the AR line object. I could also select the color picker and change the color here in the runtime inspector. So this asset is really, really cool. So yeah, that allows you to basically troubleshoot and then find out any information that you need. This is very helpful when it comes to AR Foundation, like I said at the beginning, because there's really not a way to, to, to troubleshoot things through the remote. So this can tell you, because there's not a remote right now, just like we had back when ARKit was, you know, what when Unity had an ARKit plugin. There was an AR remote that you can basically connect via the camera. You could send events and Unity will listen to it. So they're still developing one, I believe, according to the forums. But for now, I think this is what we can use to troubleshoot it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and play so that we can stop it from playing. And I'm going to go into build settings and let's go ahead and build this. And I want to show you how it looks on my device. And then I'm just going to say a pin. And it's going to take a few seconds, so I'll just show you as soon as it's running on my device. All right, guys, so I got this running on my device, and I want to show you the demo. So you can see that the hierarchy is showing on the top, and also the inspector is showing on the bottom. And I'm just selecting different objects just so you can see. I'm also searching for uh, AR, basically, in the search, and you can see how I can select different objects in the hierarchy. Also trying to delete and then look for some other things. And the other cool thing that I can do is I can also, of course, interact with the game. And what's happening in the game is basically getting reflected on the on the hierarchy. So let's just watch it until this is done playing. And you can see that one thing that is cool is you can look at the reference points specifically with Air Foundation. These are things that I wasn't, I didn't have before. So now we have full visibility in during runtime of what's happening there. I can see what's attached to it. I can see all different colliders that I have. I can also toggle objects in real time. And you can see how that it's basically reflecting reflecting my changes. So that's basically everything that I wanted to show you today, guys. Thank you. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching this video today. I really appreciate your time. And if you have any questions about anything that I just mentioned, please let me know in the comments. Also be sure to check out gamedev.net because they have great resources for game developers 
and also find me in patreon.com where I'm posting information about what I'm doing behind the scenes and also early access source code. Thank you very much, guys.